terrifying circus accident at a Ringling Brothers show in Providence, Rhode Island. ABC's Gio Benitez is outside the arena in Providence with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. Right now, one is in critical condition. And like aerialists, these women are called hairialists. They're just sort of hanging by their hair. But obviously, the stunt went terribly wrong. It was a performance filled with magic and fantasy. The Ringling Brothers Legends Show, packed with nearly 4,000 people, families with children. Then, just 45 minutes into the performance, a dramatic and horrifying turn. Just seconds after a curtain drops, revealing acrobats hanging by their hair, eight young women falling about 35 feet, the circus says, right on top of a dancer below, the heavy contraption holding them up, giving way. Everybody thought that was maybe was part of the act, but then when they landed on the, on the floor, then, you know, they weren't moving. The announcer quickly addressing the audience. We ask that you please enjoy this intermission at this time while we situate ourselves during this accident. Thank you. You could tell the crane was heavy because it took 10 guys and you could see them struggling to lift it from on top of the girls. It was unbelievable. The seriously injured performers were conscious during their rescue. Hospital officials saying they're treating a total of 11 patients. Now we've learned the act is one of the show's biggest centerpieces. And as seen in this promotional video, it's brand new to the circus. We have the human chandelier. This is eight beautiful young ladies hanging suspended in the air by their hair. It's never been done anywhere in the world before. The women spin and hang from hoops only from their hair. According to the circus, made strong enough by special vitamins and hair care. This morning, the circus and the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence promise a full investigation. But as they say in this business, the show must go on. And if it does go on tonight, we're told there will be no aerial acts. Robin. All right, Gio, thank you. And joining us now from Washington is Stephen Payne of Feld Entertainment, which owns the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. We appreciate your time this morning. And first and foremost, how are the injured performers doing this morning? Well, as of last night, we learned that all the performers were resting comfortably. Uh, their injuries, though serious, we did learn that they were not considered life-threatening. So everyone with the greatest show on earth is happy to hear that. And any idea at this point? What went wrong? We're working with local Providence officials as well as the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to really find out what happened during this performance so we can make sure that all of our equipment is safe for all of our performers going forward. And this was a relatively new part of, of the act. Um, was there enough that was done prior to to pr properly prepare them? Well, they, most of these performers have been doing an act of this nature for some time. This particular segment has been a part of this show since uh, it started rehearsals in December of last year. So these aerialists have been doing this performance um, a dozen times a week since then. So they were really highly experienced, um, really athletic, skilled. They knew what they were doing, and uh, it was just an unfortunate accident. In the meantime, what about the show? I know that the show this morning has been canceled what about going forward correct well the show this morning was canceled we canceled both shows yesterday afternoon uh, we're supposed to have a show at 7 p.m. this evening in Providence and a decision on going forward with that show will be made later this afternoon uh, the next engagement for this circus unit is in Hartford Connecticut and as of this morning all of those engagements those scheduled performances uh, will go on as planned and what can you do to assure families who are going to bring their their children to future performances um, about the safety of those that are performing. Well, this really was a freak accident, an unprecedented accident in our history. So audiences that are coming to see the greatest show on earth and bringing their families can rest assured. We are doing absolutely everything to determine what happened yesterday for this unfortunate accident and everything that we can do in the future to make sure it never happens again. Uh, Stephen Payne, thank you. And please give our very best to those who are injured. Thank you, sir. I will. Thank you.